What's up guys, Simply Coco here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another speed build here in The Sims 4. So today we are building in the world of Strangerville as you can probably tell. Um, and I am building just a regular schmegular family home. Um, it's for a young family. Uh, I do have a storyline for them so I will get into that when I get into more of the interior. Um, I'm not really sure of the house of this house's like style. I am building from reference, so I'll pop that picture up on the screen now. <laughs> um, in a past, in a few of my past videos, I have forgotten to pop up reference photos. So if I forgot again, I am really sorry. But um, it's really made out of this corrugated metal. Um kind of like shipping containers it's I wouldn't say this house is made out of shipping containers I mean I guess it could be but um I didn't really plan on it being that um so I don't really know what style you would call the exterior of this home but um yeah if you can think or if you know what this style would be called um drop it down in the comments I literally have no idea um, maybe the reference photo, when I find it again, maybe it'll tell me. Ooh, excuse me, I had to burp. <laughs> I feel like I have to burp in every freaking voiceover, so I'm sorry about that. But maybe I'll, maybe when I find the reference photo again, it, it will tell me what style this is. I'm really not sure. Um, still have not checked if the lag is in the in my videos after it's exported so if there is i'm sorry about that um i will get that sorted out as soon as possible but yeah this as you can see the shell of the house has pretty much come together i'm now just going around and adding the rest of the windows and the uh, back ba back balcony um so the two the what do you call it the upstairs part of this house, I end up making not accessible. And so you saw that I dragged the, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> the top, the, okay, the second level of the house, uh, the part that's in the front, I dragged it all the way to the back to make it one big room. But then since there's one roof going through it, you can see the if you go upstairs you can see the roof like the roof is poking through and i tried to fix it to where the roof wouldn't poke through but it does um so what i ended up doing is getting rid of the, the part of the upstairs that's in the back of the house and just basically making those um rooms up there dormers so they're not even accessible as a matter of fact i actually uh I knocked the floor out of both of them. So from inside the kitchen, you could see up into the first dormer. And inside the master bedroom, you can see inside the second dormer. Because um, I knock out the floor completely. So they're kind of like, they're kind of like, um, what is it called? <laughs> this word has been escaping me lately. Um, a sunroof? Yeah. It's it's kind of like a sunroof, but not really. Um, the landscaping is fairly simple. I use debug planner boxes and put them all the way around. Uh, no, none of I didn't put any landscaping from the actual like landscaping part of the debug menu. All beside, I mean, of the build and buy menu. All besides that one tree. I don't know what it's called, but it's the only tree that you find in Strangerville. I trust me. It is the only tree you can find in Strangerville because I looked around the entire world and that's the only tree. Besides the Joshua, like, cactus-looking trees. They're called Joshua trees, but just so you knew what I was talking about, like, they kind of look like tall cactuses. Um, they're ugly, but, yeah, those. <laughs> and I didn't want to use them on this lot because I do think they're ugly. So, you, um, yeah, wait. <laughs> we are in the interior now. 
you can completely ignore everything I am doing right now because it completely changes. And then also the orientation completely changes. The kitchen ends up being by the front door and the living room ends up being by the back door. So I could have cut all of this out and made this like a 12 minute video, but I was like, no, sometimes it's good for, you know, everyone to see your mistakes and your thought process and all of that. So yeah, it, Everything I'm doing now is not in the final <laughs> uh, version of this home. So as you can see, I do have an accent accent, <laughs> accent wall right now. Um, I end up moving that accent wall to the wall behind it, the, the wall to the left um, of your screen right now. And I was going for this navy blue, deep orange, um, brown, and green vibe. And the green I was going to bring in with plants. Because I saw this uh, reference photo on Pinterest of just a rant, like I don't know what the house looked like, but it, they had a picture of some house's interior and it had that color scheme. The walls were completely navy blue. They had black furniture um, or a black couch, but then the, ch the chair in the living room was like that deep orange color. And then um, they had like a bunch of cactus plants sitting around. So I really, really liked that how it looked in that color scheme and they even had like a cow print rug so that's why i put that zebra print rug down um and while i like the color scheme it just wasn't really working for me in this build so as you can see i have completely changed what the kitchen looks like i use the snowy escape counters and then here is where i finally changed um all of the furniture so i'm using the furniture from uh, what is it called get famous and all of the good thing all of the get famous furniture is very mid-century modern so that's kind of the vibe I went for um, was mid-century modern with the whole build because tiny living kind of has a mid-century modern vibe so the chairs around the dining table are now are the ones from tiny living and they're mid-century modern um, I end up going with the bench or the desk from Snowy Escape, just because it was the best one that fit the the um, the wood tone that I'm using. Um, side table from Snowy Escape. I mean, not from Snowy Escape, from Tiny Living. So I mostly used Tiny Living and Get Famous. So if you don't have those packs, this will probably be difficult for you to download. Um, and then Snowy Escape as well, because I use the Snowy Escape counters, and you would have to completely change the counters. And there's not very many counters in the game with that color swatch or, or with that color, like, wood tone on it. Um, so, like I said, you can't ignore kind of, like, the layout of the house right now because I do completely flip it. The kitchen's going to end up going where the living room is, and the living room's going to end up going with the kitchen where the kitchen is. It just kind of made more sense to me. Um seeing seeing that this is such an open floor plan it kind of made more sense for me to walk in the house and the kitchen is there first and then you kind of go to the back of the house to get to the living room that just kind of made more sense to me um, instead of having the kitchen in the back of the house i mean i know it doesn't really matter because it's all open floor plan but it's whatever so right now i was trying to make uh some custom some custom uh, potted plants or in this case uh, cactuses cacti whatever the plural of that is but this family will have two toddlers so I was like probably isn't a good idea to have cactuses around if they're gonna have toddlers <laughs> so I do leave this one here um, but I imagine maybe it's some type of cactus that doesn't have uh, the 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 thorns, the pricklies, whatever you want to call it. Um, are there even cactus uh, kinds that don't have the pricklies? I don't know. <laughs> but um, so then by the door, you just saw me put an eco lifestyle like book kind of hanging shelf. And I put a backpack on it. And that gave me the idea that the mom, no, not, yeah, the mom of this family, um, actually, no. At first, it was going to be the mom, but then I went back and made it the dad. 
So you might want to change the swatch of the book bag because it's more of a girly swatch. It's the owl swatch. But I imagine the dad of this family is still in university because I imagine this is a very, very, very young couple. Um, and this is like their very first house. May I would say maybe around the age of 22, 23. Um, one of them maybe even 21. And they got they got pregnant and she had twins so right now the girl is not the mom is not in school and she's just kind of a stay-at-home mom right now taking care of the toddlers um but she does some gardening in her free time so i do give her some um some pot some plant potters outside <laughs> um and she just kind of does that while she's taking care of the kids. And maybe whenever the kids grow up and become like children in, in The Sims, obviously, um, she could go back to university or she could look at finding a job. And then the dad, I imagine, is in school to be an engineer. Um, right now, he probably just kind of works on different construction sites and stuff like that. But he wants to um, go and be an engineer and maybe open his own um, construction company. Is, am I right about that? Engineers are basically like a fancy word for a construction worker, but they're like the ones that do all the designing. Am I right about that? Or am I completely wrong and stupid? I don't know. <laughs> but he wants to be the person that like does uh, house designs. Like he does the blueprints and stuff like that. I don't know if that's an engineer. Let me know. I should Google that because I don't want to, I mean, I've, if, if I'm completely wrong, then I've already embarrassed myself. So I, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. I am right. An engineer is a person who designs, builds, or maintains engines, machines, or public works. Um, engines, machines, or public works. What's a public work? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness designs and builds a, a wait design and build a machine or structure so an engineer can be a person who designs a building anyway we're in the toddler's room now as you can see um it's i'm it's like a black and white themed room so i imagine they're both boys um you could have, they could be two girls and just click on everything and change the swatch or keep it black and white if you like it. I mean, gender is a social construct. We don't care. <laughs> so you can have them be whatever they want to be or whatever you want them to be. So this middle uh, dresser I, I made into a changing table. Um, so obviously as these kids get older, they probably would want their privacy. So you could like extend the house um, and make it bigger, like get rid of the back door and add a, like uh, another bedroom. Excuse me, just had to yawn. Or you could just leave it as is and put two child beds in there instead of the toddler beds. But that's again completely up to you. Um, this will, I have this build, um, and then an apartment. Wait, yeah, I have this build and then an apartment renovation. I have no idea what order everything's coming out. But once that apartment renovation has been posted or uploaded or whatever you want to say, I will then uh, upload all of my most recent builds to the gallery. So that will be this build, the apartment that is coming. I have a San Francisco style home coming, um, my colonial style house I'll put up there and then my um, my contemporary beach home uh, rental beach home will also go up I think that's all the builds so far and then if if by that point I have finished my current let's build which is a um, Cape Cod inspired Christmas home then that will go up as well um, but yeah here we are in the backyard I did decide to give them a dog. So since there was that plain Jane, like not plain Jane, since there was that big open just space, I was like, let's plop a dog bed there. <laughs> uh, there's plenty of room for them to walk around it. I think your Sims can even walk over dog beds. I'm not sure. I've never known that. But um, I was like, 
their backyard can have a pool. So I give them like a kind of skinny-ish lap pool. I also give them a hot tub because they are a young couple. So I imagine they would want stuff like that. Um, like I said, I put no actual landscaping on this lot, just planter boxes. So I put two more in the backyard and then their trash cans and things. Now I'm about to go around and put the lights in. And I did give the dad a woodworking station so he can gain that skill. Um, other than that, guys, I believe that's it. The screenshots will be rolling here in a second. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will always respond to your comments. And please hit that notification bell. That way you know exactly when I post my next video, exactly when I post it. And I will see you all then. Bye, guys.